this really cool feature update as well courtesy of over and under regarding little yatty's air force one so if you remember there was a episode of what was it i forgot what episode what show it was i'm gonna say it was a random show of one of those like sneaker store somewhere in america where american rappers go and buy like expensive shoes and shit right um one of those kind of resale stores and they had like a little interview with them yeah he was walking around looking at stuff to buy and whatnot and i think he mentioned in the interview let it slip that he's got a collaboration with nike coming up and i was curious because he's in a bit of a different phase in terms of his style he's trying new things out he's experimenting with his shoes a bit more and he's kind of got his own little style thing going on at the moment so i was curious to see would he decide to go for like an a legendary sort of shoe model or would he try and do the cactus plant flea market thing because i think he's possible he's capable of doing that the lane that he's in now how he's kind of you know the kind of frequencies vibe he's on now in terms of creativity and his inspirations and his looks overall i feel like he could easily decide to go you know what i'm gonna go to cactus this plant flea market way instead of just doing the bait model i'm gonna go and put out my own shoe similar to the flea too and just see what that does i thought that was what he's gonna do like he just make his own model from the ground up maybe using the base of a sneaker that already exists but kind of fleshing it or kind of you know adorning it with things to make it look a bit different but he hasn't he's actually gone the opposite way and decided to go into the archive and do a collaboration with obviously one of my favorite sneaker models of all time when it comes to nike models um my kind of top five i always say are the jordan fours the air trainer ones the air max 90s um the air force one and i guess my last option would be the harachi the original ellie those would be my probably my favorite nike models of all time but the air force one is definitely up there especially the low i think the low is by far one of the best nike models ever i think that pan the panel design is far you know that particular model and the shape is exceeds anything a dunk could do i've always been surprised why dunks seem to be more popular nowadays with the current trends in air force ones considering the amount of options you can get on air force ones considering the looks considering the versatility the shape you know the extra bit of height it gives you the sturdiness everything about it looks fucking sick but one thing i do love about this yatty collaboration with nike for the air force one is how simple it's been done the execution is what really impresses me because it seems like he's a real sneakerhead because this looks like an inspiration that he would have maybe got from some of the older nike collaborations from like maybe the late 90s heading into the early 2000s especially some of the co.jp ones because i feel like the co.jp ones the japan exclusives what they did in terms of colorways is that they either went super crazy hard like the 3m snake for instance all right i've still got i've still got one of these in my collections watch i'll show you what this one my favorite one right um 3m snake right and it's the co.jp one specifically because it came out as a retro but I, that's not the one i have i had the actually original one right and it's fucking beautiful and i think i purchased them from like a random store somewhere that didn't even know what they fucking had in their fucking you know list of things but this co.jp nike um the co you know japan exclusive one this is what this is how i feel like the difference in terms of like great air force one designs you go either crazy like these and you have like a, a black and a black and silver model where it's basically got black and it's got silver bits here i made in 3m with a snakeskin swoosh like done in incredible premium materials just an absolutely beautiful fucking shoe you do like this or you do something really really subtle like the recent ones which i really liked which were the kif the kiff air force one right i think it was a kiff one and they were like an exclusive i think they were like a one that um there was a very stereo it's a very simple one that he did one of my favorite models of of recent years actually collaboration wise um so big up ronnie faith for doing these where it's basically an all white upper um the swoosh has been made with like the the it's got the paris sort of like colors on the tiny shoes in the front similar to like an, uh, the back in the day air, air maxes you've got a nice um pattern on the swoosh you've got a blue lining but essentially just a classic air force one so i've always felt like if you're gonna do a fucking air force it's either go really crazy or go classic in terms of the color combos another really crazy one would be the undefeated from recent years right in terms of all the different fucking paint and colors on them so that's how i feel like air force one should be done either you go really crazy or you go really simple but nothing in between and that's why i feel like the little yatty collaborations that he kind of put out recently are maybe some of the best i've seen in a while because he's just gone the really classic way by just having a nice clean white upper nothing too crazy with this nice bit of like I guess it's like a dark navy it says like a black so it's got line dark navy on the lining on the inside and on the outside oh and then it's got the concrete um his new music label and collective logo here on the outside on the pill tab 
on the heel section, sorry, it looks like it's been stitched as well. So it does look like it's been screen put, which might be a really good detail. And it looks like on the back heel type, it's also got a different logo there as well, which looks really cool. Um, so yeah, for me, these are great. You've also got a nice wrapping bit of paper on the inside with the concrete logo. And you've got the, the logo, the kind of slogan that they have, it's us written on the underneath as well. Um, I like that the Concrete Boys logo kind of looks like a little bit No Limit Soldier-ish. It's got that same type of like, illustration or artwork design right is that or is it just me i always felt like that logo has really good no limit um logo no limit records right logo it's got that great kind of like almost amateurish simple sort of design to it right in terms of the the kind of illustration it kind of reminds me a little bit of that maybe that's where the fucking inspiration for the logo came from but i really like the kind of no limit s kind of a vibe behind the logo itself no don't you like it i think that looks really really sick so big up little yatty for those let's see some more pictures of them actually so again it was mostly an all white air force one um i'm because i'm considering i would imagine the upper material is probably made of really nice premium leather so that obviously gives it a nice little bit of a panache or whatever it is on the up on the upper there um and again for me classic colorway that is going to be super versatile to wear it many 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 things um i loved i love the I, I just love this combo all white with the because i remember in the past there was a collection that they did previously where it was basically this it had like different the same outsole with the same insole kind of colorway so all white the outsole will be red inside will be red like these type of flips and they will look really cool so maybe that's where the inspiration of it come from or maybe there's another is it like an air force one mid that's him kind of forgot which one it is but anyway regardless really really sick um you see yatty there also wearing them with these current style that he has going on where he wears these really big aggressive pants this must be like a size 39 or something it's probably a 32 way so they look so it gives you an idea on what the fucking style of them and what he's trying to go for um you can kind of see some of the references in terms of the years and stuff this is basically an outfit that you would imagine people would wearing the fucking 90s and 80s and stuff that's the kind of vibe everyone's going for and the shoes actually match what he's going for in terms of vibe i also like that vintage pinstripe um what's called it pinstripe hat on he's got and actually that's really cool too but the shoes themselves look really great no idea on when they're meant to release um his collaborator for his podcast mitch has a really cool little funny competition going at the moment where he's um auctioning off or raffling off or giving away a pair of concrete boys air force ones for the person who can send in the picture of the best bbl and people are just sending floods of pictures of girls and stuff online and she who, who they think have the best bbl and he's going to judge and give the shoes away allegedly next year halloween or something which is funny but yeah um i love them they look really cool i would instantly buy these these are definitely within my lane air force ones are my favorite nike model um top five for sure and these look really great i love them they look really really fantastic so big up little yay great collab and again i'm surprised because i honestly thought he was going to go the cactus plant flea market way or the fear of god way and just design his own shoe from the ground up but the fact that he's taken a classic air force one and did this is fucking sick and to be fair it's good too because it matches his style um if you would have done a mid or a high it would have made sense because he likes to wear these big baggy pants and i feel like to me um air force one lows are the best when they worn with big baggy pants i think air force ones uh air force one mids and fucking um highs are probably done best when they're worn with fucking aka skinny jeans so you can get the whole look of the shoe so you don't have to cover cover them with pants and shit but i feel like if you're in big pants and they cover most of the shoe definitely go for the low definitely go for the low so i'm definitely a fan of them and can't wait for them to officially come out when they do come out i'm hoping that this is not a family and friends pair i'm hoping this is the pair that hits the retail and we're not going to go we're not going to get a regular pair that doesn't have the logo or all this sort of nonsense like just bring these out to the public let the public buy these also please that'll be great and i'm assuming oh actually i saw on the, on the tongue label too it says it's us i didn't see that before that's really cool too i just got a feeling too there'll be some merch associated with this so maybe the merch is that hat as well maybe the merch is that hat or maybe it's this um jumper with this old with this old logo it's a crew neck jumper too so it's not even done with rang lang sleeves so it's a nice little boxy 80s type of shape in the mar gray so maybe this is all part of the collection as well maybe everything he's wearing maybe even the pants as well maybe the pants are all part of it you never know so let's wait and see what happens because this looks like a nike offices too that might even be his house i'm not really sure but regardless um i'm curious to see what happens when they originally do drop because i would definitely be purchasing a pair i would definitely definitely be purchasing a pair so i cannot wait for them to officially drop cannot wait to them officially drop um continuing on a little yeah news this is a little bit more of an of a uh, you know a bit underwhelming news to be honest um there was recent leak came out i think it was free via tremaine about a um 
Cat Denim Tears and Cactus Plant Flea Market Levi's collab. Um, and it was called a giant red tab. And I think the idea behind it was to take the classic, you know, jeans that Levi's make and the jean jacket and where the little red label is, just basically make it super big, right? Exaggerated kind of thing, enlarge it, kind of play with the dimensions, make it a bit fun. And I thought the technically the idea made sense or whatever maybe. And I think the other thing is always to take the stitching and do the same thing. So wherever the yellow stitching was, you'd make that really enlarged so that it kind of covered most of the fucking jean jacket and the pants. And I guess the idea behind it was cool, but I don't really think I like the execution according to these pictures of Yati that has been shown where he's sort of like modelling some of the pictures, right? And I think they're going to drop today. No, they're going to drop, I think, on a, on Saturday, actually. So maybe we'll get a picture, official pictures of them better. But so far, they don't look that great. So you've got a regular pair of, I guess, 501s or whatever shape that he's got with a gem jacket. And then you've got the massive label on the side. But I don't know if the execution is what I was thinking. Um, obviously you see some of the big things here so where you'd have the little tab on the inside of the pants will be there they kind of made it a bit bigger so it kind of extends across extends basically across the whole length of the back pocket even bigger levi's written there and then you've got plant written there on the inside too and i guess maybe you're gonna have tears on the other side so maybe it'd be levi's tears plant levi's kind of going on there um and yeah they just don't look as good as i thought they would look personally regular shape levi's just a big lip pull tab in the same sort of color i guess makes some sense but i just thought they'd look a little bit cooler than that i'm not really sure what i was what i was hoping for but i guess it's not that that's the only thing that's a bit disappointing they don't really look as great as i thought they would look and there's also pull tabs in random places there's one on the arm underneath the arm there's one on the inside here where they meant to where you meant to button it up and stuff so i'm not really sure what's going on there in terms of that i guess just to be fun just to kind of poke fun at it and not really take it too seriously maybe that's the whole point of them but i don't know they're not really that great to me they're kind of a bit of a disappointment in terms of the look and how they basically um are made to be it's not really the best personally i'm not really i'm a bit underwhelmed to be fair that's basically what i want to say they're a little bit underwhelming so that's a little bit of a concern but i guess these are coming out soon so you'll be able to see them you know better in more detail and if you want to purchase a pair you can they're going to be available from the 18th and 19th on the denim tier site when they eventually do drop when they eventually do 